Hi everyone and welcome to Building with ART. So today we are going to start a series of tutorials about how to terraform. So you see right now I'm showing a little bit something I made previously for this tutorial. So you have a kind of little cliff right here, a little hill, and you also have a river. Um, and as you can see, if you go in the river, it's actually like a uh, natural river that you could find in Minecraft, in the natural world. So in order to show you all of these, I thought it would be better to separate this in a series of videos. So it's not going to be all in the same one. And each video will be about one of the subjects. So for today, we are going to start right now. And I'm going to show you a little bit how to make some curves, because I think it's something important. Like, uh, as you can see, if you want something a bit more natural, this is a good example right here. You have this kind of little angle, see, just like that. And also, if you look from above, you see this kind of round shape. And also in the river, this little place right here. So I think it's important to start with this as a base. And yeah. So let's start here, for example. If you don't really know how a circle is made in Minecraft, because remember, this game is a cubic game, which is made of blocks. So it can be quite hard to make a circle sometimes. So here are some examples of items that you can find in Minecraft quite easily. And it can help you a little bit to understand how, uh, how you can make uh, circles and stuff like this. You see, each of these items are made of pixels. Uh, I'm even going to show you with this spyglass. You see, it's made of little cubes in fact that are all linked together and you have these kind of shape which gives you a, a round shape even if it's made of little cubes and that's the same kind of thing that you want to do in um, in your world but bigger so you see this is a kind of little circle okay it's quite easy it's a bit like a square at the same time, so that's not perfect, but you can go with something a bit more like this. And I'm showing this really like slowly because uh, it's really to teach you. It's not, I, I'm not going to go uh, super fast uh, in the first episodes. So you see, now it's a bit bigger and it starts to have a more like round shape. Now, if we combine this, now you see it's a lot bigger, but the shape will be more round. And don't worry, I'm going to explain right after uh, the things I'm doing and all. You see, now if you go from above, it's really like a round shape, and you can guess it the bigger is your shape, uh, the more round it can be. Now, I'm going to show you each of these circles, they have a long side. You can see this one is three blocks, this one is two blocks, and this one is also three. Now, if you look right after, it has to be smaller, of course, and then even smaller. And as you can see also, on those diagonal side, um, it's three pixels, well, three blocks, just like this, which makes this kind of um, round shape, even like if you look at it from the diagonal sides. And, uh, of course, you could do the same thing vertically. So I'm just going to show it to you a little bit. So,
you see, you have this kind of shape, and it's a kind of round shape. So I'm not going to show you like a big one because I just want you to understand uh, the basics, okay, first of all. And then by yourself, I suggest that you try these and then you can move to the next step. But you see, you have this kind of round shape. And when you want to link them together, well, there are different ways, but one of the easiest way is just to start spamming in diagonal. See? Just like this. And then you could go like this and really go randomly. I know it seems a bit chaotic, but that's how you can get something um, more natural, more... Because uh, it must not be perfect. If it's too perfect, it's not going to look natural. But you see, you have this kind of heel. So just like this, with a few curves, you can get this kind of shape. Now, I'm just going to show you another method that is really similar, but instead of like going up, we're going to go in diagonal right from the start. You see? And each time, you just want to make it a bit smaller. You see, you get this kind of thing, and after, you just have to close those spaces. You see, that's another way to make it. It's not the same shape, it really depends. Now, my suggestion is that when you want to have something that is really high, you need to understand that um, you don't have to go like this, you see, or directly like this. You can always work with a kind of angle, okay? So the goal here, I'm gonna show you my favorite method. That's how I build usually. Um, if you wanna make a little hill, you can simply, your goal is to be able to place a block, okay? And then you choose your angle. So just like this, you see, you just have to place your stuff. Then you move a little bit aside and you get this kind of pattern really fast. You can even use your two fingers and just spam click your screen and it's gonna give this shape, you see? It was quite fast. And of course, if you want it to be more natural, my suggestion is that, for example, at the beginning you do this and then you move slightly, but change a little bit your angle so you're gonna have something a little bit different you could then go a bit more like this so you see you will have like this kind of little difference it's really a tiny difference and then you can choose for example this goes there and you delete this then you place this like that so you see you can really choose the pattern that you want. So I know it's not a lot of things that I've showed to you. Oh, and yeah, I uh, forgot one last thing, okay? For example, if you want to go and do your little cliff like this, you see, it's a bit like the same thing. You're going to go in a diagonal motion and just place your block and always do it a bit smaller each time and yeah so you see at the end all you have to do is to uh, close the little gaps that are there okay so I know it was not a lot of things um, but it's already been like nine minutes and I think it's gonna be all for today uh, in the next episode I'm gonna show you uh, the next step to make those kind of stuff like this. So today we saw hills and a little bit the cliffs, but next time I'm gonna show you how to make those cliffs um, faster using lava and water. And I will also probably teach you a little bit how water works in Minecraft. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope it's gonna be useful. Tell me in the comment if you tried one of the method and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.